everybody. Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Frank Malico. Got another great show for you today on this Sunday. An author that's chronicled the president's uh, early journey to the White House and three nonprofits hoping to make this a better world. But before we get started, reminder, we hope you can follow us on social media where you can see gadget reviews like the Razer, the Resound uh, from a Verizon and the HTC Radar 4G in white from uh, T-Mobile. And you can always catch us on Facebook and Twitter. Catch our segments on YouTube. And if you get an idea for Bay Sunday, send it our way, cbssf.com at our website. He was a senator from Illinois, but before politics, President Obama had quite a complex and interesting upbringing. And our first guest dove into those early years in a fascinating book, Barack Obama in Hawaii and Indonesia, The Making of a Global President. The author has a PhD in cultural psychology and is a consultant for uh, blue chip companies. Please welcome Dinesh Sharma to Bay Sunday. Dinesh, welcome aboard. Nice to be here. Why? Why'd you write the book? Where'd it well, come from? Most biographies really begin, on President Obama, begin in Chicago. But he's, he's really the first president from the Pacific, first president from Hawaii, first president whose father was from Africa, first president whose mother spent most of her adult life in Indonesia. So his early biography really called out for somebody like myself to dive into it, as you said. And you know, sort of pull out the nuggets of his biography and and tell you know rest of America and the world that we've you know really elected somebody who's very diverse, very global, very hybrid in his uh, early upbringing. And he's a busy guy, so you didn't get a chance to sit down with him. But you wrote wrote his book. Yeah. How hard is that to write a book about a man that you didn't really get to chat? It wasn't that hard because there's a lot of literature already out mm -hmm. published on President Obama, uh, his own two volumes, but I did get to speak with a lot of his teachers, a lot of his friends. His sister Maya Satoru Ng was very cooperative in the project and President Obama knows that I'm writing this book and he's going to be getting a copy soon in a few days when he's at the APEC in Hawaii. So you, you haven't got a reaction from him yet from the White House? Uh, the, the only reaction I got was he's going to read it. He doesn't have time to read it right now, yeah, he is which is very understandable. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a little bit busy. Well, give us, you kind of gave us the cliff note yeah. version, but he was born in Hawaii, and yes. you said he was actually born there. There's a birth certificate, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Why was that such a big deal? I think because he's a different president. He's really the first president with, with this type of a diverse genealogy mm -hmm. that, you know, questions have, have come up about his background. Um, he did produce the short form, and now he's produced a long form. So uh, I don't think there are any questions really left uh, to, to answer on that on that issue. I know there, there are you know, right. rumors still swirling around. It just around. took a while to come out, but yeah. uh, at any rate, that's politics. Yeah. Let's move away and find sure. out more about the president. Born in Hawaii and then eventually ended up in Indonesia right. and then back in Hawaii. Give us right. a, a little idea of his background. So he, from the age of 6 to 11, he spends uh, his early elementary school years in Jakarta in two schools, first St. Assisi Public School and then uh, another public school uh, called SDN Menteng Dalam, uh, where he was in a public school that's Islamic school with a, with a curriculum where they teach you to pray in the Islamic way. So I. I delved into that part of his biography and found out that he had never converted to Islam, was never legally adopted by his stepfather, uh, really grows up as a, as a uh, you know, biracial, bicultural uh, uh, child with an American mother, Indonesian stepfather. It's the only time he spends really in a nuclear family, those four and a half years, because his father left him at the age of two. Right. So these years were quite strong and powerful uh, for him. And he understood, I argue in the book, both the hard and the soft uh, arm of American power in Southeast Asia. Uh, if you recall, a coup had taken place uh, uh, right before he arrived there, mm -hmm. and CIA's role in orchestrating a new government by bringing in President Suharto was is well documented, was instrumental. And so uh, uh, President Obama, as a, as a boy, observed really both the diplomatic arm as well as the more sort of military strength of American power in Southeast Asia and in, in building a fledgling democracy. Now that you dove into his past and his childhood, how has it made him uh, maybe uh, more qualified to be president in this global world that we live in now? Yeah, I, I think America is transitioning into the 21st century, obviously. You know, President Clinton obviously bro you know, talked about the bridge to the 21st century. I argue in the book that President Obama in, in many ways represents that bridge uh, you know, to the rest of the world with his, with his background, bio you know, biography, multicultural heritage and his global view of the world. Uh, people relate to him in Africa. He gets high approval ratings yeah. in He's Africa. He's a rock star there, isn't he? You know? Definitely, yeah. His numbers have dropped in the Islamic world because of the two wars we're engaged sure. in. But in Southeast Asia, Europe, Africa, he gets high marks 
for even the economic policies that he's implemented, uh, for which obviously he gets you know low, uh, some you know downgrades here in the U.S. Without uh, letting the cat out of the bag, sure. quickly if you can, can you give us one little tidbit about the president that we probably don't know? In third grade, when he was nine years old, uh, I, I documented the book was the first essay that he wrote, uh, which gives us the glimpse of the inspiration that begins the journey, if you will. He wrote an essay my, that my dream is that my mother is very beautiful. I love to live in Ind Indonesia. I love to go to school in Indonesia. And one day I want to be PM. Uh, PM in Indonesian context Prime means Prime Minister. In the U.S. context, it means president. So he took it up a notch. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. He took it up a notch and, you know, it, it sort of, uh, begins the spark, if you will, of the journey all right. that we've seen fold out and fold out in his life. Well, I'm sorry to say we're out of time, but Denise, all the best with the book. It's, Thank you so much. It's terrific, and uh, hopefully the president will like it too. I'm, I appreciate I'm, it. I'm sure he will. You can uh, purchase a copy of Barack Obama in Hawaii and Indonesia, Making of a Global President at your local bookstore or online, DaneeshJSharma.com. Stay tuned. More Base Sunday coming up right after this.